Some games have this unique look. You see them and instantly feel like they have personality. I used to wonder, how do they create those unique visual styles? A lot of the time, the answer is custom shaders. Those are applied as custom render features or to a material of the object in our game. The return of the Obra Den probably uses an implementation of edge detection algorithm and dithering effect to achieve its unusual look. On the other hand, Lethal Company probably uses some form of posterization effect in addition to some other effects to create its own unique style. The good news is that in Unity you often don't need to create those effects from scratch. There are a lot of affordable assets that you can grab to improve the look of your game. For example, Pro Pixelizer can help you pixelate a 3D game to make it more retro looking. All in one sprite shader asset on the other hand can help you add some special effects to your 2D games. What's more, you can grab these assets with a discount during the Asset Store Summer Sale. Over 300 assets at 50% off and daily flash deals up to 70% off. Link to the sale is in the description. Let's explore the Pro Pixelizer asset. It allows us to make objects in our game pixelated and retro looking in a project that uses Universal Render Pipeline. First, import the package using the package manager. Next, we just open the project settings, go to quality and we can swap the pipeline asset for the provided one called Pro Pixelizer URP. Alternatively, you can modify your own URP pipeline asset by following the getting started guide from the Pro Pixelizer documentation. In Unity 6, we may need to also go to the graphics section, scroll down and find the render graph section. Here, make sure to enable compatibility mode. With this setup done, next go to the hierarchy of your scene. Select the camera object and in the inspector, go to the rendering section of the camera component. Since our goal is to make our 3D objects look like pixel art, we want to set the anti-aliasing to none and ensure that the depth texture is set to use settings from render pipeline asset. Lastly, in the output section, set MSAA to off. To check if everything works as expected, find in the project tab the Pro Pixelizer folder, open the example assets folder, and the example scene. If the spheres look stylized, it's a sign that everything works fine. Now, to make your own object look pixelated, find the renderer component and the material. From the dropdown, change the shader to be Pro Pixelizer, SRP, and pixelized with outline. In the Appearance tab, you have to reassign the textures for your object. When you're done, it should already have the pixel art retro look applied. In the Material Inspector, in the Pixelize category, you can change the pixel size to tweak this effect. The Lighting category allows you to apply a lighting ramp. By default, the shadows are pixelated, but you can also apply the smooth lighting ramp to achieve smooth looking shadows. Lastly, in the outline section, you can add outline of a specific color to your pixelized objects. And this is how you can make your 3D objects have this retro look. Now, here is my 2D farm game project that I have created using the awesome 2D RPG top-down tileset bundle available on the Asset Store. It contains a ton of character sprites, environments and props useful for creating all kinds of 2D top-down games. Let me show you how easily we can apply to it all-in-one sprite shader. In a URP 2D project, 
just select a sprite that you want to modify to its render object, add the add all in one shader component that comes with the asset. It will modify the material of your object. If you expand it, now you can see all those checkboxes representing different effects. There is a detailed documentation that comes with the asset that explains what each effect does. For example, to make my NPC look like a ghost, I can select its material and check the outline effect, the grayscale, posterize, and ghost effect. And now I have a character that looks like a ghost without editing the sprite itself. Now you know how you can easily modify the look of your 3D and 2D games to make them stand out without being a shader expert. If any of those assets looks useful, the links are in the description. Thanks for watching.